Hello everybody, my name is Franz Wegner and in this tutorial I will show you something you might want to learn how to do it um, and yeah, I will replace Chris Benoit in Here Comes the Pain for the PlayStation 2 with Antonio Cesaro, which is a mod made by the old school reunion user Warrior and he asked me to do some kind of tutorial or uh, teach him how to um, do some things, for example how to inject a blood texture uh, and how to import the model. So I will make five parts of this series in the first part. Um, as I said I will import the new textures and inject blood texture and import the model over Benoit. In the second part you will see how I rename Chris Benoit to Antonio Cesaro and how I use the height modifier to adjust the height. Then in the third part I will import a selection picture and the fourth part will include how to import the entrance theme and in the last part I will teach you how to import a custom titantron. Alright, so to give you some kind of preview how this Antonio Cesaro will look like, this is the mod made by Warrior, Warrior as I said, and <coughs> We will start. First of all, he made Antonio Cesaro over the model of the Venus, which is in the ch2.pack, and we see it's the ch2.64. So let's search for this in our uh, little da database. So let me search for it. Uh, give me just a moment. So, game spheres 2 char. I have a whole collection out of this char uh, files, so here comes the pain. As we remember, it should be right there. So there is the original Velvenus, and I will copy this file, this pack file, and paste it into here. Warrior gave me all his textures he made, and I will import them, and you can look over my shoulder and see how it's done. So, now, it was <coughs> now I will um, open this pack file with Xpacker. So wait a minute, Xpacker. You can download it on. Uh, well, you will find it. So um, go to File Open PS2 Wrestler Pack. S then I will search for our file which I just created. Do 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 do. Where it is the Antonio Cesaro for here comes the paint model, and there it is. All right. Um, so I give you a little overview how this pack file is built. The two file is the model file. The eight file is the blood texture. The nine file contains all the other textures, and sixty four and sixty five are the files for the signboards from the fans. All right. Um, in this case, I have already the TM two files done by Warrior. As you can see here, I will open them, uh, just give me a second, with Optics Image Studio, so you can see them, new textures, and as you can see, there is the back head of Antonio Cesaro. Uh, the face should be this here, and there we see Antonio Cesaro. Alright, um, so when you have the textures done, you do the following, you open Xpacker, and have this open it, opened 09 file and you import all the textures and I will do that and um, it is important that you click on import not inject because we have TM2 files but first of all we need um, the original TXC files so I click on extract all and ex extract them there so because the TXC files have the headers we need to import. So, I will just import all the textures and I will fast forward this part of the tutorial so you don't get bored. So when we have this done, we just need to inject the blood texture and Warrior gave me his blood texture which looks like this, uh, here it is. 
and the blood texture is always is always the same size as the face texture. And first of all, we need to convert this TXC file to TM2 so we can edit it. And an easy way to do it without hexing would be to extract this file. I will inject it here, or I will extract it there. And we simply create with Xpacker a new texture archive with just the blood texture in it and click create texture archive and I will call it blood.pack okay so now we just open this file we just created as texture archive where is it blood.pack and there we click on export and maybe we should rename it or something because otherwise we would get an message or something so I click on save and there is our new uh, texture here it is .tm2 as I said and I will open this again with optics image studio 3 so let's open this and these are the settings we need to copy to our new blood texture I will open it uh, did it, did it. so here the size is already set and make sure you have under options and alpha channel these settings it should be this <laughs> and not this uh, yeah it should be this or this it doesn't matter it should be the same so we click on color reduction first of all just right click this image and color reduction and as we can see here there are 256 colors and we reduce the colors to this amount so we can delete this and but now we need to create a new alpha channel and when we go to the palette delete list we see this is not set the alpha channel is not set so we made a right click again on this image and click on edit alpha channel and create new alpha channel and when we go again to the delete list we can see there is an alpha channel with the value of 128 and this is what we need so i will overwrite this with uh, the 08new.tm2 so save and new texture all right make sure these settings are set for 16-bit it would be 4-bit but this isn't available to select so I will go with 8-bit and click on OK and now we have our new TM2 texture and we go back to the X packer and we can do now the following we can import this new texture again alright so and now we extract this file again and then we have our real and customized TXC file with the blood on it and we can open again our original models files which is this and I will rename it to Cesaro for here comes the pain so open this again and now since this is a, a TXC file we will inject the file we will inject the file we just extracted and this is this year I called it 08 bloody dot txc all right open file injected successfully so our file is now ready to be imported so this is what we have and since warrior wanted to overwrite Chris Benoit I need the pack list of here comes the pain which you can also find on old school reunion and it is uh, Chris Benoit has the number 46 and 47 one is the entrance attire and the other is the in-ring attire but since we have only one file I will overwrite them both with the same file um, also we need the characters ID character IDs which I which I made a list for and as we can see Chris Benoit has the ID of 9 
So now we need to open an hex editor and we open the file. Well, you should have the here comes the pain ISO extracted and you go into the pack folder and Chris Benoit is in the first character pack and I will open that with an hex editor. I will use hex workshop. Make sure your offset is set to F. All right. So what we will do first, we will locate the files of Chris Benoit and replace them with the new. And after that, we will adjust the header so the file sizes are rightfully set. So I will go back to my little database with all my pack files and I forgot which number Chris Benoit was and he was 46. So 46, oh, I opened this file. Wait, this was the wrong file. This is the right file. I will open this also with Hex Workshop and I will copy some lines and search for them in this big file. Hex values, paste, and they will see two instances and this they should be the right one. So, I will do the following. Um, I will I will move my cursor to there for the before the pack string, and I will see how big the original file was. So I will select the address, and it's seventy seventy thousand bytes or bits, no bytes. Bits. I think it's bits and I will select a block with the with the size of 70,000 in hex or of course and now we need to open our new Cesaro file uh, I have too many windows opened there it is so I will copy all copy all and just replace them and I press paste and now we have the end uh, the ring in the in ring entire <laughs> um, replace and now we need to replace the second entire and since this, uh, this is the next file for Chris Benoit I will open that also and as I can see it should be the right uh, the same size but I will go sure sure and I will already I will make I will select again the file size and and I will select again a block with that same amount of bits and paste again Cesaro in. So yes, and now we just need to adjust the header and I always make the offset to 3 and we go to 800 in hex from the beginning of the file and there we see uh, in the first row the attire in the second row uh, shows you what character IDs this is and the two and this the second the third and the fourth uh, row shows you how big the file is so Chris Benoit was character I had had the correct ID U9. So I will look after him. So here it is. And as we can see it has both the same size. And now let's uh, let's calculate the size of this new uh, model file and we go to the end of our Cesaro file and search for the last row or the, or the last line before all the zeros and it should be here as you can see here are some bits which are not zero and the next row are all zeros and even if 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 here is just one other other bit than zero um, you would select this location but in this case we need this so the location would be this I'll be, I will copy this all right and now we need a hex calculator I use the Windows one and don't forget to set it to developer then select hex and paste it in there or paste the location in there divided by 100 
in hex of course equals this and add one and now we had our f now we have our file size but we need to reverse this it would be 07 ff and in the reverse the, re the reverse way would be ff 07 so this is what we type in as we can see there. where is the calculator there it is so ff ff 07 and then again for the other tire and now we can just save this and close everything and rebuild the ISO. I always do, do that with expert.exe and select the shrinker plugin. Then we need to select the original ISO, which is in my case this. Extract the LVA again and rebuild the file. And I will make a cut and I will see you when I load this when I loaded the game and after the file is rebuilt I also click rebuild LBA and then <laughs> I load the game and I will show you that everything worked so uh, we will see you in I will see you in some seconds all right welcome back and let's see if everything worked fine so I will just go on exhibition single and uh, no manager and I will select Chris Benoit so there he is, and in the next tutorial you will uh, learn how to change the name from Chris Benoit to Antonio Cesaro. So in the tutorial after that you will see how to change the selection picture. I will just write he has really two different attires and not an entrance attire and something, but uh, it's the same. So I will just select one of that and I will go against Hillbilly Jim and we should already see and there and that we have our Antonio Cesaro as you can see as you can see everything worked fine and I will just uh, start a match and see if he also loads there um, but there should be no problems and as you can see everything worked fine and we have our Antonio Cesaro and here comes the pain with a custom attire from warrior all right then uh, i hope i help you and especially warrior from old school reunion check out the check out old school reunion in general there are a lot of tips and tutorials for modding smackdown games and some other games also all right i will see you in the next tutorial or in the next part and have a nice day